Hello guys, as I promised for the second part video of the learning board, how to activate the EBS brake function if we don't have wiring at the output of our controller. In a previous video, we saw how to activate the low brake and high brake without any region braking. And this is because that particular experiment controller just didn't have any wire at the output to enable the EBS brake. In my experience, 95% of BLDC controllers have this feature. And because I have done it too many times, and until now I cannot understand why most controllers didn't have this function wire, I will enable the EBS brake function manually from the PCB board for you guys, so you can do it yourself if you have similar problem with your controller. Now let's see first our wire functions of the controller. Three speed wires, Pulse signal output from our controller to tachometer to see actual speeds. anti fifth wires. Throttle wires. Brake wires. High voltage power output for lights. Learning mode wires. High brake wire. And cruise control wire. So, as you can see, the controller didn't have any wire for EBS brake. So, let's open the controller and find the pin of the function from the PCB board to activate it. As you can see, the controller circuit is not from very good quality controllers. This one is usual Chinese controller which we can find on AliExpress. Here we see quite bad soldering and some leftovers from the soldering flags. So first, we will need to clean all our pins and labels on the board before we do any measurements and tests. If we look closely at the circuit, there exist too many signal pins. In the middle you will see standard labels H+, W, V, U and ground. 5 pins. These pins, as we all know, they are for hole sensors. So we won't even need to measure them. Next pins is F3, F2, F1 and XX. These pins are programmable from the factory. Next pins is ZL 5V SV 4.3 volts, SD ground, XS ground, SH SL DS. This pins is for signal. Accept 5 volts, ground and 4.3 volt pins, which is voltage output to activate our signals. Next pins is Q, F4, F5, F6, A3, which is also programmable from the factory. Now let's clean the board. Now our circuit is clean to measure our signals. First step is to connect our battery and activate the controller by the ignition wires. After that we measure 5 volts and ground pins to see if our controller is activated. Next step is to measure all our signal pins with a 5V pin. 
if their measurement is from 3 volts to 5 volts, then we know that to activate the signal we must connect it to a 5 volts pin. That's why I am marking the pin with a white color to remember that this pin must be connected to 5 volts to activate it. Next we measure all pins again with the ground, and we do that because some pins to activate them they must be connected to the ground and the rest pins to the 5 volts. With the blue marking I know that that pin must be connected to the ground. Now let's connect all our peripheral components to check our signals. At first I will check my signals with the 5 volts, which I will take from my throttle. With the 5 volt signals we don't have any braking action, so now it is time to check with the ground which again I will take it from my throttle. ZL pin is as always pass sensor input and to activate it we must give pulses. As you can see, on A3 pin we have braking action.
So now as you can see we have EBS braking, just like that. That is for today guys and see you in next video.